running around on the show. I got money, I make a half a million every weekend. Like, you want to open the wall? Here you go. I was one of those people, but one thing I did do, because I knew I wasn't smart enough to comprehend what I was doing, but I was capable, been able financially to do it was, I said, guess what? If they fuck it up, I'm going to learn how they fuck it up. Mm-hmm. If they do it right, I'm going to learn how they did it right. And I did a smart investment. Either way it goes, I learned. And it taught me, and long story short, they fucked everything up, right? <laughs> but what it did, what it taught me was, it was liabilities from day one. Mm-hmm. So you can never say I never helped you. Now, it's my fault for trying to put you on and help you out again. Now, the joke's on me, right? So in my career, what I wanted to do was, I didn't, I wanted to go a, a, a way to where you can do everything wrong. So when you get to the, the right, when you get to doing shit right, it's like, it's like a walk in the park. And I, I remember I told, I, I was telling, I was telling him this, I told my mother, I was like, why can't you need to do this with your money? I was looking at her like, I'm sorry, mom, but I'm about to blow this shit. You work three jobs, you're a good woman and all, but my, I gotta go out and eat, man, I'm gonna stay for breakfast. I don't like cars. I don't give a shit about clothes or nothing. I like lifestyle. I like I just got I just gotta be comfortable, right? So I just wanted to spend all this money. That just that was my philosophy because I ain't have I had education. To me, money don't mean nothing because it's nothing but a, it's nothing but a debt note. I knew that from day one. I knew that's what middle school taught me to is why that ain't money, stop calling it money. It's a it's debt. He said, once you get it, you're in debt. He said, because that money will move by you by next year. And and back then the uh, the dollar was like Lost like five cents off a dollar or some shit. When you add up, you're losing a lot of money. So then when I seen that, I'm like, oh, you bet. Rap go by, people do. Rapping and block investing this, block investing that, block investing this. And I was doing it. Because I'm going to people that people say are moles. But long story short, they're taking advantage of me. They know, I know they're taking advantage of me. You get what I'm trying to say? So what I did was build relationships with their kids. What I did was use, I used, I leveraged who I was to get where I needed. <laughs> I probably don't like how they move and how they act, but as a businessman, you have to respect them. You can't hate good shit, but if you're a hater, it works. You know, I, learned how to do I was a hater before. Right? I was the kind of guy like, I don't like his music. This shit is good. The whole club is rocking to it. Bro, it's good music. So when I get to run to people like Don, my whole life would save me, and my life was I'm not afraid to say I made a mistake, right? And a lot of people say, man, you're so successful. Excuse me, personally, I, just, I, I swear you high class and bonded because I'm never going to stop doing it. I said, no, I'm great at succeeding. It's the difference between success and succeeding. I'm just great at succeeding. And right now, I, right now in my life, being 35 years old, I've been 36, three months, I can claim it. I feel like I'm about to be successful. Like, I can't stop working. If I stop working, shit goes down. It goes wrong. And somebody's like, yeah, you're as strong as your team. And I look around, my team didn't know nothing I knew. Like they were just, they wanted to do good activities. I call them outfits today. Everybody's outfits. Everybody talk to talk, walk to walk, subcontract. That's all everybody do. People today love subcontracts. You go, yeah, that's the man. Next thing you know, you need his man, that he got a man with a team right there sitting in a hotel. You go, like, what the fuck? I don't know what you $100,000 for a $20,000 job. But the thing about it is, I can't get mad because I ain't got the knowledge. So me saying all oh, this, it brought me right back to the I started going to buy real estate for dummies, uh, term life for dummies. I started buying what would the Rockefellers do? I just started reading and reading and reading. Next thing you know, I said, you know something? Fuck these shows. I'm about to start booking shows in financial institutes on Hollywood. Let me start doing frat shows. This is people like, why fuck out white fans? White people love him. Whole time, like, I was a child in the team, but I got shot. Crime. This, that, and the third. Ain't nobody standing up for me. I'm not saying white, black, purple, orange will stand up for me, but your people will stand up for you. I just see good and bad people. So when I went to these schools, I started seeing Ivy League fucking kids. I'm talking about I went to school Obama was at, I went to school uh, Mark Zuckerberg was at, I went to a school that J.P. Morgan had kids is at. But these kids, they talking to you. When they talk to me, they think I'm about to talk to them like, yo, let's go turn up, y'all. Hell no, nah, nigga, I'm in this bitch talking term life, this, that, and the third. Like, oh, dude, you're the smartest rapper. <laughs> 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 See, 
I was smart, you know, I'm like, yo, this is, people that's multi-millions and billions, their kids are still in college. Yeah, that's right. This is their future, sitting right here. I'm entertaining their ass, right? Mm -hmm. So this is, I've been doing this for like 10 years. These kids today is in front of hedge funds, family offices, insurance companies today, top eight people at Pepsi, Coca-Cola. Again, I'm a shitty rapper. I don't know how to rap. I don't know the history. Uh, I'm going to be real with you. As we have a noun, a pronoun, I don't even need to know because I'm rapping. What the fuck do I care? I'm not not. I don't want to be Jesse Fresh. I don't want to be Andre 3000. No, I want this for straight business. I rap for business and pure entertainment. And like you said, you have to find peace. If you don't find peace, this shit is just a big ass rat race and a roller coaster. Cause you just get when you're the only person making money in your family, it's tough, man. It's tough. Yes, you become yes. the greatest person in the fucking world, right? Yes. So nobody like really get mad. Or you get mad, you just fucking sad because you got money. Like, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't giving up for Christmas. Like, you know, it's, it's one of those things now in life, man. I get the, I got, I got, I got the blessing, man. I've been, I've been married before. I've been in relationships before. I've been in partnerships before. I've been the youngest guy in companies in a celebrity meeting. Got fucked at the end. I've been rug pulled. I done did stocks. I done did bonds. I done did crypto, NFTs, fix and flip, rehab, fucking. The only thing you can think of, right? I don't make a lot of money because guess what? Look, these niggas we're excited for. I got heavy ass bills. Like my bills is 80 grand a week, a month. I take care of a lot of people because I think God put me in a position to do that, not to complain and not to brag about it. Because at the end, after a while, I'll be everywhere you are, like you say, in a short time. But after a while, you start giving people so much money, you create the rise of energy. Because when you start giving them the money, they're like, oh, you don't fuck with me. 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 I can't even get you to sign a tax return if they want nothing. I'm like, right? They just got This shit cool. I'm like, man, all right, let's change it up. Let me change my friend group. Let, let me. Right? Let me stop thinking to myself, like, just having a black owned company on me, everybody in the fucking company is black. That's retarded. No, black men control the narrative. Can you support? Most people I learned, I learned this part. This is when I switched the game. I said, you know something? I'm not giving y'all shit. I'm going to point you to the motherfucking truth. I'm going I'm to set you right up, too. I'm telling to make sure you got a house for a year, a car for a year, but your ass going to school, nigga. Like, you want to sit down on them Zoom calls. Like, yeah, you might have to do that. But then you start seeing they don't want that. Some, some people are incredible with it. Though. Some people get that shit and do it better than you. And that's the people that I, I wanted in my life. And I find out, man, it gets lonely when you go to the top, right? So I'm telling you, you want to go fast, go by yourself. You want to go far, get a team. And if you the first person to make it, I just want y'all to know, bro. You won't fuck up. People go steal from you. People will do a lot for you. It is what it is. You're going to feel what you can fucking avenge you. So Lord knows with Don, me knowing Don now, see, I'm a gangster nerd. I don't care what y'all tell me. Mm -hmm. I go straight to the computer. The IP don't lie. Like, I can track whatever you're doing. Like, that's what saved me as an artist. Everybody else around, your cell phone in there, that's an IP right there. It's not illegal to see what you track in that. Search it on the internet. I go straight to the company. And be like, hey, I want to buy the IP. Track so you can, we can do this shit. We just feel like we can't do it. Like and they be like, oh, so everybody from that neighborhood listen to this record, this guy shop at this fast food, do this. I bet you'll open up a Burger King. That's the kind of person I want. Intel is everything. So when y'all build a team, don't just build people to get money. You gotta get people to get information. And I know all of us don't respect computers a lot. Y'all all better jump on the goddamn computer immediately. If you don't, these kids will be making quadruple the amount of money you make it, and they will not respect you. That's the problem with today. Kids are making more money than adults. Adults are, are analog, and these kids are mono. These kids, they don't give a shit. I'm telling you, they move super fast. So I'm saying, with people that I help, these niggas three times rich. I said, one little dude, I was showing him how to sell a uh, wholesale, um, uh, like napkins. I showed him how to open up an Amazon store. This nigga made $179 million yesterday. Last year, some dick hard did it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> How did you get over there? <laughs> and I asked him, you know, this kid said he's, he's smart as shit, though. Like, this kid is smart. He's like, yo, bro, I always hear, man, talking about Viagra and Seattle. heard rapping, rapping about me and this. Shit, I just opened up a company. And he just, he opened up 25 companies. Literally, renamed them. And them shits are famous today, right now. They renamed them and just shipping them out. That's it. That's on demand. So you don't have to just be on the streets. 
I know people selling real estate. How is fifty thousand living in it right now? It's just it's a big ass world. So again, you gotta have great intel. And I just say, man, I'm just a great succeeder. Y'all looking at somebody that succeeded. I done been through everything. I'm telling you, I done been stole from everybody, aunties. Every, I'm talking about everybody. I done been around people that run my business that think they really got that shit down pat. They know it all, and me trusting them. And then when it's time for me to be a businessman, I go turn around and my shit is fucked. You see what I'm talking about? I'm talking about, no, 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 stop, stop. I'm about to fall off a fucking cliff. And that's a whole argument trying to talk to somebody that's older than you because nobody want to be told they're doing it wrong when they feel like it's the right thing, you know? And that's the thing with me. And I don't even like rap. I, I, I don't hate it. It's just boring as fuck. I, I'm a Gemini. I don't, I'm a, I got it. I don't like reading. I just got to keep learning. I, I just, I'm, 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 we grown here. I just can't lay on the side and have sex. Like, I just, it's boring. Like, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna, I'm not knocking a nine to five, but I love a nine to five. But yo, I need some overtime. Hey, look, I want to go to, I just, I just like changing shit up. And the world is just changing, y'all. We in the future. I don't, everybody keep talking about when we get in the future. I don't know about y'all. I was born in 86. I know the future does. It's like, yo, niggas get on cell phones and talk. We in the future. We doing that right now. This shit is the future, whether we like it or not. So, again, with real estate, man, I found out, man, the real estate, was, the real shit was real estate. Like, no matter what I do, I'm buying houses that I don't even live in. Like, I'm, 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 out, I'm out, what else? I was four times a week. Out, out, of, out of my house. So I started finding motherfuckers living in my house more than me. I'm like, damn, well damn, now niggas enjoying this shit better than me. My cars, they enjoyed it better than me. I'm like, dog, god damn. And then my, my accountant at the time, this week I was getting paid 6500 fucking dollars to push a button. I'm like, well god damn, I could have went to Chase Bank and did Oh, uh, what's that shit called? Like recurrent? You can just click it like, hey, use this account to pay my bills. Wow. Once I did all that, I started seeing my account. So again, it's, it's P&L, man, profit and loss. I started looking, I started learning that. Then I like the SWOT analysis. It changed my life. When I like that SWOT analysis, oh my fucking God, I think everybody in the room should do that. It was game time. And then I just started applying myself. I started using like the degrees and this, that, and the third. And I just got naked. I called again, butt ass naked. Like, fuck it, you a celebrity, right? I'm not a celebrity. Walk a flock is, that's an alter ego. That's Superman, I'm Clark Kent. How can I make Superman make Clark Kent live his life? My life stopped when I got being a celebrity. I don't know how it feels to be in my 20s and be young. I don't know how it feels to go to Coachella. I don't know how that shit feels. I've never, I've really never been on a date till I've been with a wife. I, I just, it's so much shit I lost as a man that I was a grown ass boy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, why you're a kid? Not how you carry yourself, not how people look at you, perceive you. No, you're actually a fucking kid. You have no business. You have no trades. Who the fuck are you? Like, you know? That's where I wanted to get there, and that's where I'm here today. I'm humble enough to say oh, I can learn from them. Most people are like, yo, this is a turned up rapper, and it's like, who gives a fuck? Like, who you rather hang with, Drake or Don? You think you'll make more money with Drake or Don? Who? Uh -huh. Not nah, both. Both. Let me tell you, you catch 20 of them. <laughs> 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 Saying so when I seen this, like 
I could have been in movies that people like, ah, man, he won't do this. So it just lets you know, you never know what opportunities it is. Like you said, if you just don't go apply yourself. Apply yourself, man, get, get naked, man. I don't know how old you are. Say I don't know. I'm quick to say I don't know. I don't care. People be like, well, I know you know. I'm like, no, I really don't. Like, what about that? I'm only here, I'm sitting here for leverage. What am I leveraging right now? I'm leveraging education, understanding, and literacy. Because I learned literacy runs the fucking world. You can't never say you don't know if you have knowledge of how to do it. So right now, I'm held jerk. You're a goddamn jerk if you ain't in this house. That's the <laughs> Strategies, I can tell you this, man. Insurance is powerful. Super duper and powerful. I'm talking about yes. super, super, super powerful. Mm -hmm. Most businesses that we think are uh, like Walmart's and these things, they're an insurance company. These folks' insurance policy is keeping them to live. So we should get, my end goal for me in this room is to have an insurance company and a hedge fund. That's all I want. I think as a, as a man of me, I, it's sad for me to say I want to fix and flip and rehab houses. That's not fair. Because I'm in a position in life where I shouldn't be doing that. I should be going to help get capital for people that can do that. I have to, because me getting in that, it's, it's, it's just too dominant. Mark Fox will recruit all the kids who want to follow me, and I ain't gonna have no fucking time to teach them nothing. So it's not cool. You know, you're supposed to deal with people that actually are better than you, that's driven, that can wake up every day and hold seminars and do things like that. And people that need to take the time out to actually learn it so we can learn how to protect that and organize it enough so people can understand it. So that's for me, financial literacy is hella important. So I'm here to learn in real estate 101 fully all done. That's why I've done is fucking incredible. I, he don't even notice. I know literally over 20 people that were paying the donor and they popping right now. Mm -hmm. And after me hanging with Don, I still learn hundreds of other people that know this guy. I'm like, what the fuck? Who is this? Yeah, man, thank you. I can't wait to be hanging with y'all, being around with y'all. I got a lot of stuff, man. Apply yourself to crypto. There's ways that y'all can make y'all houses, all y'all properties an NFT. And why is it important? Because it's on blockchain ledgers, protected. It's literally protected. No one can take it. No one can flip flop on fucking contract because it's on blockchain. So if you lie, we can tell you fucking lie. You're going down. But I would, I would, love, to just, I would love to just show that strategy, but in another time, we definitely got a ton, but I got NFT homes right now. Uh, I got a car that's an NFT. It's, shit, it's just, it's lit. That's some new era shit. I'm just telling y'all, it's fucking lit now. It, i never seen this much money in my life, like crazy on NFT, but oh, real estate. Ha, ha, ha.